Hey you all and welcome to Bookworm TV. This is Jacqueline Murphy, of course, your host. And I have here with me another special guest. I am bringing them to you, okay? This is Eddie Daniels. He is actually a young up and coming film producer. He's gonna tell you a little bit more about his company and uh, what they do. Tell us a little bit more. Okay, well, my name is Eddie Daniels and I'm a film director. I have my own production company that I share with my brothers. It's called The End Up Company. And we do different type of genres from films to uh, documentaries to commercials to music videos. Um, yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So Eddie, why don't you tell us what got you interested in film? Well, what got me interested in film is I, I, I pretty, at first I was interested in um, becoming a, a broadcaster, right? Wow, okay. And because um, I used to play baseball. I played baseball, you know, throughout my whole entire life. Um, and um, I was very big into baseball. I even played college baseball. And, um, you know, once um, I wanted to become a, a, a broadcaster, I wanted to be a broadcaster for like sports, for, for a sports center, ESPN. Wow, wow. And, um, and when I, I got my, my associate's degree in, in communication broadcasting, and as I was taking, as I was um, taking some courses in that, that tapped into um, a little bit of the, uh, the film, you know, the film production behind the scenes. And I started to like, I, like, I started to, you know, like using the cameras and, wow. you know, like, you know, liking wow. to edit you know, wow. edit your own content. I thought that was actually really cool. Wow. So that's what, um, you know. Got you started. Right, wow. that's what made me got. So, so doing one thing, which is communication, because in order to do the filming, you definitely need to know how to communicate with your audience. You need to be able to know how to direct others to do so. But you recognize that, you know, being in front of the camera is one thing, but you really enjoyed being behind the camera exactly. as well. Exactly. Now, question for you, because I know that you said that you're in business with your brothers. Uh, how fun is that? to be in business with your brothers <laughs> <laughs> no nah, it's actually pretty good i mean it's actually pretty dope um i mean the, you know of course you know you know uh you know there's ups and downs but of course <laughs> right but, you know what i mean but um no nah, it's actually really dope you know i enjoy right. um, i enjoy working with them right. um and we also like you know we also have a um a, a crew that we work with as well like mm. it's not just my brothers you know i have a, a crew of friends um that is in my circle that i you know um, create content with right so right. uh so yeah we get together and um you know we that's you know we produce you know content whether if it's under our you know our company uh, your or production or company or theirs okay right. so question for you um in terms of uh writing and everything like that were you the first one in your family to say that you wanted to get into film and then your brothers followed or what was that like um actually yeah i was the first one that wanted to go ahead and get into film i was the one that I was actually, I, at, the, at first, I didn't want to get into film. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get, I was interested in broadcasting. Right, right. And once I took, you know, once I took the different courses in broadcasting, you know, that intertwined, intertwined with video production. Right. And that's when I started to, you know, like video production. I started to, you know, I thought it was actually really cool to, you know, to mm -hmm. be behind the camera and mm -hmm. also, um, you know, create your own content. I mean, even right. as a broadcaster, you have you have to go ahead and edit your right. content as well. So too. you use a lot of like storyboarding then? Yes, oh, yes, yes, wow. yes, yes. Oh wow, that's awesome. When it, com yeah. when so, it came to writing, when mm -hmm. it came to writing, mm -hmm. yes, we, you, you know, I mean, before you write anything, you have to go ahead and pretty much, uh, you have to pretty much, um, you know, you're, you're brainstorming, you know what I mean? So you're, mm -hmm. you're, 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 you're brainstorming your ideas, you're writing your ideas down. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you know, you pretty much um, create your, you know, you 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 you, pr you pretty much start writing your ideas. Right. You know. So this is what I want to do because I want. I know there's going to be some. Uh you know, gentlemen out there, or some young lady out there that's saying, wow, they, what they're doing is cool and awesome. I'd love to be able to do that. What advice would you give to the younger you? How about that?
Advice that I would give to, you know, a younger me is, you know, know exactly what you know exactly what you want to do. You understand? Because like whatever you do, like you got to make sure that, you know, you're not only doing it for the money, you're doing it because you're enjoying it because mm. the money's going to come. You understand? Mm. But if you're not if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then it's always going to be work to you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure that, you right. know, you and you know, you're enjoying whatever you want to do. If you want to get into this this um this industry mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you're enjoying it right you understand? and it's, network with a lot of people as well too. i like that networking and loving what you do and enjoying it it's so interesting that you said that because with the movie industry when we go to the movies what we see is the finished polished product we don't know how many hours of editing and just shots after shots after shots that you guys have to do just to get it so perfect. Tell us a little bit more about, cause you've done quite a few projects you said, what was that process like for you from start to finish of, you know, us being able to see the final product? How long does it take? Well, pretty much, I mean, that process, you know, that process is, I mean, it depends on the, uh, it depends on the project that you're doing, whether if it's a, you know, if it's a film, that process, uh, is you know that process takes a, a while you know mm. what I mean it takes a while but I mean it just depends it all depends on the um, you know you being consistent mm. you know and you having you know pretty much you got to be you know consistency is a key mm -hmm. you have to be consistent and you have to be you know you have to want it you understand because mm. if not you know you're just gonna go ahead and let you know days go by of you not doing anything Wow procrastination Wow so wow. Um, but you know that process like for a short film, I mean, the short film it, it, it can go, it can be anywhere from like maybe you can you can do a short film, it the you where the process could pretty much be from two months, you know, the wow. longest maybe, you know, wow. through two three months, you know, it all depends on how fast you you know how fast you go. Wow. Like if if you know you can do a short film within like maybe like a, a two weeks if you want. As well wow, too, you know? wow. So, so I, I got to cut in. What I hear you saying, Eddie, is for someone out there that's wanting to get into this industry, that some of the key takeaways is that you have to want it. You got to know how to network. It's the key, and you gotta know how to hustle. Exactly. Absolutely, you, <laughs> you gotta, gotta hustle. work your game, Definitely. okay? And it's all about you know networking with the right people. You never really know who is going to be who and who's gonna connect you with who. Absolutely. That's gonna get you to that next place, right? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So, what has it been like working with the various different actors? You know, just working with people in general can bring about, I think, a level of you mentioned about kind of like being consistent. Um, what's that been like working personalities and consistencies and what's that been like for you? <laughs> working with different actors, I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, it got its, it got its ups, ups and downs, you know, like sometimes, I mean, you got to think like, you know, sometimes these, these actors, they're not, you know, they're, when you're creating these short film projects, you know, they may have, you know, a budget behind them sometimes they may not have a budget mm. so these actors are not you know they're not getting paid you understand like mm. you know when you're st when you're starting out you're not you know you're not getting paid you know when you're creating these short films um it's pretty much just for exposure mm. so it's really you know it's really up to you know for you the the actor has to be committed mm. you understand the actor has to be committed they you know like sometimes you will have actors that will go ahead and fall out on you mm. you know so like I said it has its ups and downs or they will go ahead if they really really care about the project if the project means a lot to them they will go ahead and show up you know show up there you know um and you know you as a director you have to work with their schedule you have to work with wow. you know whether they're you know with their availability wow. time wow wow so, yeah. so what I'm hearing from you is that the industry itself takes, you have to have a lot of passion and a lot of heart Definitely. for it. Yeah. As a director, as an actor or actress, you have to have a lot of heart for it. Definitely. You have to be consistent. You have to willing be willing to put a lot of long and hard hours and yeah. may or may not be getting paid because the budget is Absolutely. not there. Um, and to be successful, 
you have to be personable. You can't just be wonderful on screen and horrible off screen because then you got a network right. and you never know who's gonna know who and what, you know? Absolutely. So, um, yeah, that's that's it, guys. I definitely wanted to introduce you to Eddie again and, you know, positive young black man. He's also a man of faith. He's a Christian. His entire family is. Like I said, I do know them. And I definitely wanted to, you know, introduce him to my wonderful audience tell them again um, how they can get a hold of you they're open hey reach out to them you know uh, well, you, you can follow me at all social media platforms at mm -hmm. end up company um, and my website is also on um, end up company.com end up company.com I'll try to link all the information above or below and uh, thank you guys so much again and see you guys later bye <laughs>